Police in Chesapeake, Virginia, just outside of Norfolk, say there is no clear motive to explain why a Walmart manager opened fire inside a superstore last night while employees were gathered in a break room. He killed six co-workers and wounded six more. Investigators say he then took his own life. As federal agents join law enforcement, local law enforcement, in the investigation of the nation's latest mass shooting, more people worry that no place is safe. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michelucci digs through data on active shooters, which shows workplaces actually top the list of locations where mass shootings occur. As a memorial grows outside the Chesapeake Walmart, where a store employee killed six people and himself, many are asking if this could have been prevented. And, and most of these cases, there were prior warning signs. Somebody saw something that was concerning and didn't say something. Dr. Justin Dorenzo is a Jacksonville psychologist who says mass shooters typically show outward behavior days, weeks, even years before their attacks. So the first type is somebody is psychopathic or antisocial and they have a vendetta against someone. The second type is somebody that has paranoid schizophrenia and then the third type is someone that has been chronically traumatized. There's a lot of talk about active shootings at churches, schools, and public events, and rightly so. But if you look at the data across the country, you will see that the most mass shootings actually happen at workplaces. The shooters targeting offices where they're either currently employed or they recently worked and were fired. We looked at analysis from the Violence Project, which shows nearly a third of mass shootings have happened in the workplace. The motivation? Researchers say the top is an employment issue, then interpersonal conflict, followed by economic and legal problems. 76% of shooters showed signs of crisis. 47% had leaked plans before they attacked. What are some of the warning signs that people need to be looking out for? Chronic absenteeism, a dramatic shift in behavior at work, alcohol and drug use. And Dorenzo acknowledges stress around the holidays can make things worse, which is why he says staff need to practice see something, say something, and authorities must take threats seriously. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.